moving on from that, I want to quickly touch upon this. It looks like ranting and raving on the internet. Um, you know, some people would say it doesn't really make a change, but it actually does. It does actually help real life. It does has, it does actually have some real life effects. So I met a couple episodes ago, I was talking to you guys about um, the Balenciaga Fall Winter 2023 show and how a lot of people were really getting irate because the prices of the new stuff that people really were fans of, like the biker boots and the sunglasses and the combat pants had leaked and they were really obscene. I think at the time when I recorded, the biker boots were legitimately going to be priced around seven grand. The combat pants were going to be three grand, which was kind of like a 5X, you know, flipping jump from the previous seasons. And people were obviously irate with it being the you know, we're, we're being in a financial situation we're in at the moment with a global recession and people kind of hurting financially all over the place in various different levels of the socioeconomic ladder. It just seemed obscene that they were going to be charging that amount for those things that they were charging for. And I think the fans basically descended, especially on this one page, My Face When, which has nearly 10 million flipping posts. It's now at bloody 8,900,000 and they posted the flipping price list of the up and coming 423 um, items and I mentioned it before my previous podcast right this is the price list and it's the first post that they did for a long time that actually had the comments open because for the most part this account my face underscore no my face when underscore zero uh, usually has the comments closed but they upload loads of pictures of basically Balenciaga and what they have coming up in showroom pictures and whatnot and insight and maybe updates on price prices really cool stuff if you're a fan of the brand and at the time of writing that post has over 379 comments crazy right a man of people like really ripping into a brand complaining about the price is not really being happy i guess somebody at caring heard it or the blowback got back to the flipping people there maybe even the prize the vip customers maybe complain because i think that's probably where it came from i doubt balenciaga or karen cares about us you know dusty people like myself who just can afford the glasses they probably care more about the vip so the vips probably weren't booking as many appointments as possible so they kind of listened and now there's been an update on the prices, at least for the boots, because the boots initially were going to be $7,000, right? And now, according to My Face When, the boots' prices have now dropped. So they're originally going to be priced at 7200 Now they're priced at 5600 which is a good amount um, to, to, you know, to kind of consider or to kind of tempt people like myself, especially in this color. It's definitely my favorite colorway that they have. It's got the black, the white, and these kind of really nice red assets on them. But that makes a lot more sense. Sense. and the caption from my face went as follows um winter 20 winter 23 biker boots are now 5600 originally 7200 makes you think happy this price got lowered the original was absolutely absurd but now let's talk about the speed cat glasses if this price change was get going to happen regardless why collect the deposit for 50 percent of 7200 i don't really know but i'm just happy they listened because you know for the most part you know, Balenciaga have a very loyal fan base, mostly because of Demna and the crazy work that he did over at flipping, um, what you call it at uh at, at Vetemar, obviously, and that's why a lot of people are so sort of loyal and sort of like buy what they make, you know, sight unseen and just kind of trust his vision. But to kind of spit in their face and be charging seven grand was crazy. My theory, I think, still stands. Where I think the reason why they did that was because they want to set a precedent and kind of establish a new normal. I kind of described it similar to when you know when the Apple iPhone first came out. I think the first ever one was was priced at five hundred dollars. If I'm not mistaken, the first one, the one that Steve Jobs introduced onto the onto the stage, saying, you know, it's a phone, it's a music player, you can send text messages. That that iPhone was five hundred dollars. It was the first one that was five hundred dollars and didn't have a physical keyboard. So that was a really big deal, also. So and then obviously since then, Apple has been, you know, one of the four leaders in terms of setting the prices of smartphones, like you know, the one thousand pound one. And I'm sure they're going to keep going up over time. And I assumed. That's what Balenciaga were doing. Like they were trying to set a level. Okay, cool. Designer shoes are now going to be seven grand. You know, designer boots. I mean, they're going to be that kind of level. But it's glad to see that they have listened to the fans, and we are going to see some lowering. And I think looking at this picture as well with the biker boots, my favorite bits, it does look more obvious now that they're not made out of rubber because I thought they'd just be all rubber, but they actually are biker boots with different bits of paneling and detailing and stuff all over them you know it's a really sturdy looking flipping animal of a shoe i'm not going to lie 
and it's got the little price um you know uh so it's got a little size uh logo here at the back of the hill instead of at the front so i quite like these i'm not going to lie the only thing i don't like about them is this aggressively pointy toe the toes too pointy i would like them to be a bit more rounded i think they look a bit strange in my opinion that's anything they look a little bit too pointy at the front but apart from that it's still pretty hard but yeah big up lens yoga for listening to the fans and actually 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 um lowering the prices that's actually nice to see and hopefully it means people are going to go out and start buying it because that's the only reason why they did it they want people to go out there and buy the stuff they don't want people to get upset and not purchase it so i definitely understand that one i could definitely understand that one